And joining us now is Craig Fuller, the founder and CEO of Freight Waves. That is a data reporting agency focusing on global freight. Craig, thanks for being with us here on the Hill. First time, I believe. So uh, you got these some of these truckers saying, you know what? We're, we're not going into New York because of what happened to Donald Trump. If I'm just anybody living in New York and I see, see that headline and you hear what that, that woman said off the top of the show, uh, should they be concerned? No, not at all. I, you know, Freight Waves has been around since 2017. We've covered dozens of quote unquote boycotts and protests among truck drivers. They never amount to anything, especially not now. Um, you, the previous, uh, the, one of the folks on the panel mentioned that there is a truck driver shortage. Uh, that has been debunked on multiple occasions. Uh, the fact is that the trucking industry has too much capacity and uh, the industry is really struggling from a significant downturn and we're not gonna see truck drivers give up the opportunity to make money simply because of some uh, political stance that they want to take. This but is in theory, but in theory, more couldn't, than social media news. In theory, couldn't independent owner operators stop what they're doing, right? Like if you're working for a, a company and they say drive that truck to New York, you're driving that truck to New York or you're getting fired, I presume, or suspended or, or whatever. But if you own your own truck and you say, you know what, I don't like what happened to Donald Trump, I'm, I'm not going into your, to New York, in theory, I guess that could happen, right? In theory, it could happen, but we've also looked at multiple uh, of these boycotts and protests, and in theory, they sound great on paper. You know, not okay. less than two weeks ago, we heard that there were going to be 700,000 truck drivers in southern Texas protesting uh, the border crisis that's down there. It simply is not going to happen. There is going to be very little impact to freight flows. Uh, we have covered, like I said, dozens of boycotts since 2017, and there have yet to be a any issues of consumers getting access to goods. This is nothing more than social media noise. It's not going to have an impact, mark my words. Three, three million, uh, three and a half million drivers employed in 2022, that sounds about right to you? That's correct. Somewhere in there, okay. Um, I, I look at that number, that's a big number, Craig. And we deal with politics here uh, in this town and on this show. Do, do you have a sense from within your industry? Because I know this, this truckers for Trump is, is trending right now. <laughs> But within your industry, broad strokes here, is it, is it pro-Trump, pro-Biden, or none of the above? It's probably 80% Trump. I mean, it is a, okay. this is a, a red-blooded, blue-collar industry. Uh, it is anti-labor. So if you think about unionized labor, for the most part, trucking is a general industry, with the exception of the Teamsters, tends to be very anti-labor. Trump stands for a lot of what they believe in. They believe in independence, autonomy. Uh, they don't believe in government interference. But regardless of that, and, and having said that, we have yet to see any political movement in the United States that have caused, uh, that drivers have set out and boycotted that has actually caused any uh, issues related to consumers' access to freight. Okay, we'll leave it there. Craig Fuller, CEO of Freight Waves. Appreciate the time and the perspective. Thanks, Craig. Thank you for watching, and make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.